sure to join my Discord server for a chance to be in my next mega build battle. Hey, Pandawandas, today we are going to be doing another mega build battle. Today's build battle is going to be different animals themed bedrooms. We are going to have six people building, including myself, so seven people in total. We are each going to be given an eight by eight squared off area to build in. Everyone is going to have one animal they're going to be representing. As you can see, everyone is already in their animal themed outfit except me, so I should probably change. Wait, I'm a panda, so it would only make sense if I do a panda themed bedroom. Let's take a look at the animals everyone has chosen. Annette has chose to do the animal tiger. Addison has chose to do a horse. I am of course a panda. Trent is going to be doing a monkey. Peyton is going to do a rabbit. Avery is going to be doing a reindeer, but she wasn't able to finish. So Allie substituted for her and still continued the reindeer theme. And finally, Blossom did a frog. Before we start off, let's take a quick look at the rules. You must build a bedroom that represents your chosen animal. You are allowed to build a bathroom if you wish. No time limits. Two floors is the maximum amount of floors you can use. Only build in the given 8x8 space. And most importantly, have fun. Now it's time to give everyone a co-owner. we are ready to go remember it's all up to you to choose who you think the best so make sure to watch till the end and see your favorite build down below in the comments now let's go into build mode everyone will be choosing their plot by coloring a square i'm going to be doing the color white because pandas are black and white someone took my square so i guess i'm going for this one and now we are all ready to go ready set build of course, the most important part of a bedroom build battle is to have the actual bed in the bedroom. So I started off with putting down two walls and then putting a bed down. I had the idea of placing a bed on top of a custom shape so the bed would be a little bit elevated just to give it a little bit of dimension. How you make me feel inside, baby. Got it all. custom shape and i'm going to be using it to make a canopy bed going to be a nightstand including a lamp and a vase where i'm going to be putting a transparent decals and changing it to plants so that it would look more realistic over here on this side i had the idea of making like a slanted wall so it kind of looked like the roof was slanting inwards but i kind of struggled with that so i used what i had and made the best of what i could do and it actually turned out pretty good so i was happy with it to be for a study room type of desk place and i'm just going to be filling up with some shelves of four right now and kind of get a feel of where i could place everything before here is the desk room so of course i need to add in a desk i also combined some little nightstands underneath the desk so it could look more custom i'm going to be adding a window on the left and then decorating this space into more of a study room type of look Because 
because pandas live in like a forest, the jungly area, I wanted to replicate that with the bed. So I got this idea of putting these vined plants on top of the cylindrical shapes for the bed. And it kind of looked like the leaves were hanging and it kind of looked like the rods or the poles were actual trees or like bamboo or something. So I just did that for the rest of all four of the cylindrical custom shapes. And here is how it looked like. I then went ahead and added a blanket on top of the bed. I love this new update Bloxburg had with the pillows and also the blankets because it makes the room so much more realistic. And oh my goodness, I've been asking for pillows from Bloxburg for such a long time. I'm so happy they finally listened to us and added them. The base of the bed i also made this comforter seating space i don't know what it's called i'm pretty sure it has a name but i added pillows on top of it and it looked really fancy so i kind of kept it here i am making actual bamboo that is going to line the back of the bed so it looks like the bed is actually in the jungle with some bamboo sticks that the panda is going to be eating i don't know something like that <laughs> As you can tell here, I have finished up the bamboo background and over here, I'm going to be adding one of these placemats, the wooden placemats and putting it on top of the bed as like this place where it's going to have a vase for decoration. I'm putting this custom shaped square at the bottom of the book because the book would actually go inside of the mat for some reason. And then for extra detail, I added this ruler on top of the book that I saw somewhere and it adds so much character. Anyways, now I'm going back into the study room adding in some books and going to be adding in some decorations to spice this place up. For the chair of the desk, I really badly wanted to use another pillow, but it was such a struggle to find the right size, turn the pillow again, but I finally did it and it turned out exactly how I wanted to. So I'm thankful for that. <laughs> to be working on filling up this little corner i wanted to have one of those planters that are basically like standing on like three legs i don't know what i was going for i just wanted everything to look nice and i also added a big standing mirror as you could see just for some decoration in this corner And I guess I decided to make my own custom carpet. So here I am using some very thin rods making a design on top of the carpet. It's kind of going to be like crisscross looking like triangles and such on. here is the final result of the carpet. I really like how it turned out. I also found this overhead arch that reminded me of those like Japanese gardens and I thought that this would be absolutely perfect to add somewhere in the house. If you can guess it, this room is going to be the bathroom. Now because it was a little tight spaced at first, I was so scared to start building it. But once I started decorating, I made it look like one of the best bathrooms that I've ever built. So I was really proud of it. Like I've said for absolutely everything. Next up, I added some decorations such as this little leaf holder for some soaps, and then I added towels on the walls, towels inside of crates, and also a mirror. To replicate the bedroom style, I decided to add some of these bamboo shapes over here, also in the back of the sink, so that it would match the bedroom. I didn't really know what else to add inside of the bathroom, so I took a quick break from it and I added some of these shelves next to this arch. I didn't really know how to decorate the arch, so I just started putting like wooden beams here just for extra detail. I didn't really like how this arch shape was really coming out, so I decided to use some beams on top of the arch and it turned out pretty good. 
to give some decoration to the study area, I decided to make my very own wall. I don't know what these are called, but it's basically made of wooden shapes. And so I used custom shapes to replicate it and added one of them to each side of the study room area. I then surrounded these grid-like doors with some vines just for extra decoration and detail, along with also giving it the ability to match with the bed with the vines already on it. Here I am continuing to decorate the, the study room area. It was a little plain for my liking, so I decided to add in some crates, some jars, and then I added in some shelves along with some other details and decorations. One of my biggest struggles, I struggle a lot with using different type of textures and making everything match. So I use the color white and also a cream color for right now. And then I moved on to continue decorating the bedroom and come back to it later. As you can see here, I am going back into the bathroom and I'm going to be using a bathtub, of course, on top of this platform to mimic what I have done already with the bed to make it look like a floating bathtub, I guess. So we have to also think about where that toilet is going to be, but I think I forgot to add a toilet until the very end. So for now, I'm going to be adding in this bathtub and adding in some decorations. Also, for some reason, my recording was like recorded really strange and it was like a full on hour of building kind of looking like this. So I'm going to be skipping ahead so you can actually see my whole screen. But basically what I did here is I added like little seating areas for tiny pandas to be seated with some cherry blossom trees and also some plants to make it look like more of a rainforest or jungle where pandas actually live. At this point, as you can tell, I have added a lot of stuff and that time my video was corrupted. But here I am adding in some more decorations such as like candles, some lightings and whatever else I think the bedroom is currently missing. I also went ahead and colored the bedroom with different colors for the walls and textures as you could tell and the place is looking almost close to finished. needed a form of lighting so I thought it would be a really cute idea if I made this little flower cherry blossom fan so that is what I'm trying to do here that is why the fans are pink on the ceiling and I thought it was a really cute pop of color for the actual bedroom and now I'm going to be going outside. I decided to color the outside of my bedroom and bathroom into like cream color and also like a stone and wood texture. I also decided that I was going to be decorating the outside because why not? Someone else was still building. So I decided to make use of my time and I really like how it turned out. So here I am adding some stepping stones leading up to the doorway of the bedroom. Touch my hair, it all goes away The things I planned, the things I would say Now I keep rambling on, I sound so cliche What I am trying to do is say I love you ooh, ooh. On this left 
corner, I also decided to add in a small little pond because when I think of pandas, habitats, think of a little pond with having a wooden bridge that is so aesthetically cute and everything. So that is what I'm trying to replicate right now. How I shiver inside doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my hands. Now I'm all confused, turning gold. And of course, to add the final touches, I needed to add a panda somewhere outside, and I decided to add like a little home where the panda would be like popping out. I used some custom shapes to make his home, and I really love how adorable it looked at the end. I don't know how I came up with this, but I love this, and you'll see how I did it. some final decorations and details but other than that we have finished up the bedroom build and also the bathroom that i have added so now it's time for your favorite time of mine it is tour time
my next mega build battle. <laughs> 